Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to create 3D animated text in Autodesk Maya. So to start um, adding your text to your project, click on create and then go down to text and click on the little option box next to text which will bring up this dialog box. So this is where you type in the text that you want. So something like this. All right, so whatever you want to display goes there. And then you can choose the font type as well. So all of your default font choices will be there. And you can pick the font, font style as well and the size. So I've got impact, um, but if you pick another font, you might get other font style options like bold, underline, etc. And then pick a size that you want as well. You can also do a strikeout or underline, um, and then just OK if you're happy with your font. All right, now there are a few options here. There's curves, trim, poly, and bevel. Um, if you pick these three options here, curves, trim, poly, you'll kind of just get flat text. Um, so I'll just click on poly, and then ap apply, and you see here that I've got um, just flat text there. All right, just undo that. Just edit, undo, go back to create text. And this time I'm going to choose bevel. Now there's a few options here for bevel that you can play around with, like the, the width, depth, extrusion, um, lots of different settings there that you can play around with. But if you click on apply, you'll get a basic um, bevel text effect. All right. So now what you can do is add some color or add a texture. So I'm just going to add a simple um, material. I'm going to right click and go down to assign new material. And I'm going to choose uh, Fong. And then I'll just go across in the attribute editor to Fong one. And I'll change the color there. Okay, so pretty simple texture there, nothing fancy, but you could um, change that a little bit if you wanted to increase the transparency or um, have a pattern on there, any kind of texture that you like. All right, so there we go. We've got some 3D text, pretty basic. Now with this 3D text, you can manipulate it and edit it and animate it animate it just like you can any other object in Maya. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this text sh um, shake. So I'm just going to move it up, gra grab the move tool, click on the text and move it up. All right, now I'm going to um, rotate it now, grab the rotation tool and I'm going to rotate it, actually, just undo that. And just a little bit over the top here. I want to rotate it on this axis here. So if we go to the channel box and rotate it on that axis, which is a Z axis, I'm going to type in something maybe like 25 there for the Z axis. All right. Now I'm on the first frame here. So where it's got, where it has here, rotate. Z. I'm going to right click on that and click on key selected. Then I'm going to move down about 25 frames and this time I'm going to do minus 25. So it's on the other side and I'm going to do key selected. All right, so every 25 frames I'm just going to change it from 25 to minus 25 and back um, and then key select the Z axis rotation. All right. So 75th frame. Now we'll go minus 25, hit enter and key select that as well. All right. So that's it. We've got some shaking text there. All right. So if you click on play, that's the effect we have. Um, now you can do it with rotation. You can do it with, um, scale, you can do it with movement. So now what we might do is go to the 100th frame and we might just scale this up a little bit. 
So I'll just make the text a little bit bigger. Oops, just a bit bigger. And we'll <clears throat> just, um, what we might actually do is, we've actually increased the scale on all three axes there. So I'll just key select all of those, just to be lazy. All right, now we'll go a little bit further along the timeline. Okay, uh, this time we might actually go to the we'll go about 120th frame and just going to pan here, rotate and zoom out a little bit. And this time I'm going to have the text moving. So I'm going to have grab the move tool and I'm going to have the text moving, uh, not that way, but I'm going to have the text moving this way. All right, there we go. So, all right, so that's on the Z axis. So I'm just going to right click on translate Z and click on key selected there. All right, move backwards here on the timeline. And actually what I need to do is just go back to the first frame and move it back to zero on the Z axis and key select that as well. All right, so. Now, what that actually does is it has it moving the whole time. So if we just want it moving over this period here between the 100th and 120th or 190th frame, then we might actually go to the 100th frame and move it back to zero on the Z axis and key select it there as well. So all the way between zero and 100th frames, it should be on the um, at zero on the Z axis. So it shouldn't actually start moving until that point. All right, so we have a little rotation here going on. So the text is kind of shaking and then um, it gets bigger. And that's one thing actually I need to change as well. So scale, just put down to one on X, Y, and Z and just key select that on the first frame. just so it's set to a scale of one to begin with, and it doesn't actually start getting bigger until about here. So, I might just set uh, about here, we'll set scale to one again, and we'll key select it on that frame. So it doesn't start, the text doesn't actually start growing until here. So basically, this is just like any other 3D object in Maya, you just change the properties, whether it's translation, rotation, or scale, and you just add keyframes. All right, so that's it. So we've got text shaking here, and then around about the 70th frame, 75th frame, it starts growing, gets bigger, and then around about the 100th frame, it starts moving forward. All right, so it might just rotate and orbit around here, move in. And we'll click on play. All right, go back to the start, deselect the text, click on play. And that's a basic animation. And then you can have a look at what that will look like in the render preview. There we go. All right, that's it. So that's basically how to add text by clicking on create, choosing text and just changing some of the options here. So we've looked at how to create poly text and also beveled text and um, change some of the font settings. So we've added some text and then we have just changed the um, rotation of the text by using the rotate tool and then um, adding some keyframes. And we've also um, used the scale tool to make the text bigger, make it grow and then also the move tool to make the text move. All right, that's basically how to add and animate text in Maya. Thanks for watching.